Backseat Coaches presents WWE Bracket S. It's time for one of the world's weirdest events. Good. And I have one. Do you? Which is great. This is an unusual <laughs> entry to this segment. <laughs> Normally a bit more like <laughs> upbeat and lively. But okay. <laughs> Do you want a name before you read it out? Go on then. Give Go us on. a name. Okay. Uh, you got three choices this week and they're all bag themed. Right. So you can be the ruckus sack. Uh, get it. Yeah. Yep. It's not great. That's good. Yeah. You can be the bum bag beast. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a normal person, but he wears a butt bag. <laughs> so he's a beast. <laughs> or you can be the satchel in a cell. Uh, That's such a wrestling thing. You know that? Yeah. Hell in a cell. I quite like the first one, actually. Do you? <laughs> yeah, the rocker sack. The rocker sack. All right, well, you can be it. <laughs> Come on then, sack. What have you got? <laughs> so your names are cryptic. Oh, Okay. And they give you a clue as to what we might be doing this week. Interesting. These are hard when it's yep. like this. They are particularly cryptic. Are they? <laughs> Superb. It's like one of my quizzes. <laughs> um, you can be the peekaboop. Okay. Yeah. The ready or bop you on the nose. Here I come. Okay. A long one, that one. Yeah. A bit too long, but it's all right. <laughs> or the seek and destroyer. Okay. I think I already know what the, the thing is. And what was the first one? Peek-a-boop. Yeah, peek-a-boop. That's the best <laughs> one. By a, a distance. The other two are rubbish. <laughs> so I assume this is a hide-and-seek championship, is it? The hide-and-seek world championship. Oh, I should give it its full title. <laughs> Excellent. Or the Nascondino world championship. Ooh. For that is the Italian name, and that is where it's from. Interesting. So that is Italian for hide-and-seek. Yes. Nascondino. Yeah. Interesting. It's quite nice to say. It's yeah, fun to it's say. it's quite nice. Nascondino. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Nascondino. Two, please. <laughs> Dos Nascondino. <laughs> um, first edition held in 2010 in Italy in the city of Bergamo. Ooh, I don't know where that is. Me neither. No. Italy. Uh, Close yeah. to Rome, probably. Probably. It all is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Bergamo. <laughs> Sounds good again. And... It's wait. Is it like the wine? Is that a bergamot? Is that a wine? Or is that an animal? I don't know. I've heard of a bergamot. Someone write in. Tell me what a bergamot <laughs> is. Do my work for me. <laughs> Continue. Um. So yeah, first held in 2010, but has as sort of like a laugh. Um, a couple of people were playing it at somebody's birthday party, and we're like, I can't believe there's not a world championship for this. So made one. So they're just playing regular hide and seek. It's just. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, we'll get on to that. Yes. Okay, so they were playing Nascondino. Is it like a traditional game, though? Not that I know of. Oh. <laughs> oh. So how are they just playing it at a birthday party? Well, I think they're just playing traditional hide-and-seek at a uh, birthday party. okay. And then, they... like, and then I can't believe there was a world championship, yes. so made one. So amended the rules to make it and to a world championship. The rules. Oh, got you. Okay. And good. it has been held annually since. Mm. Um, it's held in an open air playground. Okay, I can see you doing the, the air quotes. Marks, yeah, with artificial and natural hideouts. Ah, uh-huh. okay. Uh, six editions have been held in the same town, Bergamo. Yeah. Uh, the 2016 edition. Uh, had 64 teams, 320 players. Whoa. Um, and that was held in Consono in Lecco. Oh. oh. And... That's the biggest version of it, you say? No, not... That was so the far. most... 27... This is just how it's expanded. Oh, okay. Yeah. 2017, 80 teams. Oh. Representing five continents and 11 countries. Wow. I think that's been the biggest tournament so far nice there's no qualifying for the world championships you just, yeah you just turn up and you can play yeah okay there's a registration process but but anyone can register yeah. okay so they wouldn't they wouldn't disallow you because you are so bad at hiding or something <laughs> <laughs> what, what would make you bad at hiding i don't know because you're massive yeah you're <laughs> like you've got a big bird suit on all the side <laughs> never hide anywhere <laughs> or what if you're really good at hiding you're not allowed in if you're a ninja uh 
maybe no Chinese teams. I don't. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see them on the list. <laughs> Ninjas aren't even Chinese. <laughs> Japanese, isn't it? Oh yeah, samurais. I think. Yeah, <laughs> samurais. <laughs> They're rubbish at hiding. <laughs> They just, they've got a big sword hanging out all the time. Well, you still wouldn't want them in there, would <laughs> no, you? That's true, actually. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Found you. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Um, so the rules. Team game. Okay. Five players per team. Right. The competition is carried out in rounds, each played by one player per team. Interesting. In a single round, you are given one minute to hide from a neutral seeker. Okay. And five minutes to return back to the home base. Oh, without being seen. I think it's without being caught. Yes. Because the seeker could just stand around the base. Yeah. So they've got a... Yeah, but what's to stop them to stand around the base? I don't know. Yeah. Cause like... The spirit of the game, I think. Okay. Because they've got nothing to lose because they're neutral. When you say neutral, is it... They're, this is an organizer or something, or is somebody from another team? Uh, they're not a member of a team. They are just uh, or something yeah. associated with the event. Okay, okay, yeah. So there's no point in them. They want to just catch people for yeah. the spirit of the tournament. Yeah, yeah. I got you. So it sounds a bit like. Did you ever play Blocky? You might have yes. called it something different, yeah. but yeah, it's 40, one of those 40 games. In. What did you call? Forty forty. Yes, yeah, forty. Yeah, yeah, it's again. It's one of those games that's got different names yeah. around the country, <laughs> but it's basically just a base, isn't it? And it's like yeah. hide and seek, but you've got to get back to a base. It sounds like that. And the base is purposely a crash mat or like soft mattress for diving. Nice. So you can just <laughs> dive past the seeker. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that a lot. But yeah, the thought about that a lot. Yeah. After many injuries, probably. <laughs> I imagine, yes. <laughs> At the birthday party, there's all these kids with their like, le- bra- legs broken and like, oh, I wonder how you can stop that. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't reach the home base within the five minutes, mm-hmm. uh, you get zero points. Okay. The first to reach the home home base gets 20 points. The second, 19 points. 18, 17, 16. Okay. Etc. etc. Oh, so... If a player is found by the seeker, zero points. So I think I misunderstood this. I thought it was one on one. Uh, no. So, uh, competition carried out in rounds. Yeah. Each round played by one player per team. So if there's twenty teams, there's twenty players per round. Oh, I get you. So it's not. It's not. It's not like head to head. That's what I got no. confused with. I thought it was a head to head thing because I didn't know about the neutral seeker. So that. As many teams as are there, that's, maybe that's crazy. So if there's they, eighty teams at the tournament, I, I probably not because they have yeah. qualifying rounds. They have like heats, like pools. Yeah, yeah. So you'd have maybe twenty maximum, or however much is yeah feasible. Okay, that's but, awesome though. So after everybody has played a round, after yeah. all the team members of every team have played a round, uh, the team's points are added together. And the top 20 go through to the finals. Top 20 teams? Yeah. Okay. And, and then so then play another is... five rounds. Probably. Yeah, so it sounds like 20 is the maximum. Yeah. So, yeah, that makes sense. So, however many teams you have, you just have pool matches. Yes. Yeah, yeah. with different seekers or whatever. Nice. Um, the neutral seekers are often rugby and or American football players because they, quote, suited the role. Okay, that does, <laughs> that does begin to sound like it's a tackling role, doesn't it? <laughs> get him! <laughs> Knock him over! <laughs> so they're just trying to stop you get back to base, aren't they, really? I think they must do, because otherwise, like, they're not suited There's to no the role There's no reason for them to be seeker. rugby or yeah. American football players. There's <laughs> all the fucking linemen. There's the big fat lads. <laughs> they see something, they clatter something. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> just like the all the... Uh, artificial planted like hiding faces <laughs> just being scattered smashed up by this bloke <laughs> um the winners should you get so far yeah because it's hotly contested oh. win the coveted golden fig leaf interesting why is it that because it hides your modesty <laughs> is that why <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> biblically the symbol for hiding yeah, that does sound like it, then, doesn't it? Your modesty. Yeah. <laughs> In brackets. <laughs> Your modesty. Yeah. Um, there has recently been a campaign to see a Japanese equivalent sport 
in the 2020 Olympics. Really? So I I think it's played along very similar lines, okay. very similar rules, but it's got a Japanese name. It's just the same as Blocky, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Around the world. <laughs> Everybody plays different, call it different, different things, names. yeah. Um, but obviously, as we know, it didn't gain. Oh, to the 2020 Olympics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think we would have heard about it. But, <laughs> I think we would have. Yeah, or maybe they're so good that they managed to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> they managed to hide it on the way in. <laughs> like, oh, but it, it, the Olympics uh, committee, like, oh, it's, a, it's a lot of extra competitors. No, no, don't worry. You won't even know they're there. <laughs> <laughs> they'll just be practicing all the time. <laughs> What's that bush moving around? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, I couldn't find the dates for the 2020. No, no. But it's sometime in the summer, so if we just hang around. Oh, we just go to the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. Go play it there. Yeah. <laughs> this actually sounds like another one we could actually play because it's all it is is hiding and running. Yeah. I, I, I'm not the best at hiding. I'm quite big. That's but true. <laughs> you'd be good. Yeah. Especially in like, if it was somewhere like the desert because you, <laughs> you got ginger air in it. <laughs> but I'm really, really white. Like... Yeah, sand can be stunningly white. So. <laughs> stunningly so. Stunningly <laughs> so. I've never heard it described such. <laughs> well, anyway, whenever they're playing it, I'll see you there. <laughs> stunningly so. You know, like... Sh- Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> What's that shining over there? <laughs> that is stunning. <laughs> I'm stunned. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> he's stunned. Run <laughs> 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 <And> round him. <laughs> <laughs> Backseat Coaches presents WWE. Bracket S.